always goddamn sorry. If you're here to buy, take a look around the shop. Just keep your hands where I can see them. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Stuff things in your pocket and run. Rob me at gunpoint. Shoot me in the head. <laughs> I've survived on Neon far too long to take any chances. My store, my rules. If you don't like it, talk to Styx. He runs our, um, complaints department. <laughs> That's more like it. You know, I'm sick and tired of people coming in here and treating sticks like he's some kind of sideshow exhibit. I mean, look at that graffiti they sprayed onto his chassis. Uh, if I could find the asshole who did that, I'd make him pay for the paint removal. I know you'll be surprised, but... Thanks to my sparkling personality, I don't exactly have the easiest time making friends. That means I spend a lot of time talking to sticks and Model A robots. They're not really programmed for casual conversation. The net result is I end up talking to a machine and looking like I'm out of my mind. <laughs> Hell, maybe I am. Don't need it, don't want it. Take it somewhere else. It's no big secret. I lost it fighting on the Freestar side during the Colony War. I was a ground pounder. Slogged it out in the trenches with the troops. And did pretty well, too. Until an EM weapon took out our transport. They pulled me out of the wreckage, but the damage was done. Honestly, I, I consider myself lucky. Most of the other soldiers died in the crash. I knew a guy a few years ago who ran up a hell of a tab with me. I'm talking thousands of credits, but at least he'd make regular payments. One day the payment stopped, so I tracked him down. Found out he got mixed up with an Aurora dealer and uh, fell from the upper platform. Since I had a legit claim, the city awarded me his property, which amounted to the contents of a storage container. Guess what I found inside. Took me a few months to scrounge up the parts, but I'd say I did a pretty decent job getting sticks up and running. You'd do that? Huh. Okay. Well, maybe I misjudged you. Look, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that I'm not the most popular guy on the block. And that suits me fine. But this person took it too far, made it personal. I'm not about to let some delinquent hassle the only friend that I have. Huh. I'm glad you see sticks is more than just a possession. The lowlife that did this to my buddy calls himself Warlord. <laughs> you can probably find him somewhere near Euphorica. Scare the crap out of this punk, and it'll teach all the ebside lunatics that nobody messes with me and the sticks. If you've got the credits, I've got what you need. You ever get nightmare sticks about the war? I'm sorry, I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. I get what you're saying. You just want to forget, but one's got nothing to do with it. I'm sorry, I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. No one understands you, stupid piece of tin.
one time sticks. I wonder how things would have been different if I took a different path. Hey, if I flipped a coin of life, it came out heads instead of tails. I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. Yeah, you got a point. I screwed it up either way. Frank Reddick is the proprietor of Neon Tactical. My primary function is security and protection. I'm sorry, your inquiry is invalid. Neon Tactical deals in weapons and armor for use in combat, for paint and home decor. Please visit the appropriate vendor. Affirmative. Your complaint is noted. I'm sorry, I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. All complaints are set to be ignored or returned with violence. As a result, the nature of the complaint is irrelevant. Only the person filing it is recorded. Goodbye. The other day, Stix, uh, I met a miner from Gazal. I'm sorry, I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. Maybe if I yeah, move to the Bali Hotel, that won't cut me off. Hey, if you hear about any entry-level job openings, let me know. I've been trying to find an office job, but all of them require, like, five years of experience. <laughs> get it? Yeah, you get it. To be honest, I don't really know what I want. I just know that if I don't find something soon, my parents won't just disown me. They'll have me stripped for parts. Keltcorp and Stroud. But I haven't heard back, and that's threatening to cut off the cred spigot. That's exactly why I haven't applied there. Way too much competition. Well, I went to school for business, but it's not like I remember any of it. In my last interview, the recruiter asked me what I thought about Keynesian economics. I asked her, which planet is Keynesia on again? And she just looked at me and cringed. I don't blame her. <sighs> Back to the job hunt. Chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even knew what planet zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even knew what planet they were on. They're just kids having fun. Please try not to alert anyone to what you're doing. Poison. It needs to be taken off the streets. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Sieghart's Outfitters? Oh, come on. You don't have to pretend you haven't been to his poor excuse for a store off of Bayou Plaza. I understand that, but when you're dealing with a snake like Siegert, normal commerce practices go right out the window. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. By standing up to the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money. I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection.
Everyone has a choice. Some are simply more difficult than others. The only way to fight Neon security is if all the merchants unify and push back on these unreasonable rules. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Here, let me see that. Huh. Not a bad idea. I might be onto something here. Thanks for bringing this to me. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That'd be extremely helpful. I honestly don't know what to say. I'm a businessman. You help me with this, and I have no problem compensating you for your time. Just be careful when you're dealing with Siegert. He can be surprisingly unreasonable when he's cornered. The first time I brought up the subject, we got into a huge argument. Siegert said he had every intention of paying Neon security and that it was final. After that, I tried to speak to him a few times, but he's always been too busy to spend the time to sit down and have a decent conversation. It's obvious he has no intentions of talking to me anymore. I honestly don't know what I did to make him so angry with me. I arrived in Neon almost... Uh, what, 20 years ago? I had gotten a job at Xenofresh through a friend started working on the loading docks. After a few years, they moved me up to Kazimbas Processing, and that's where I met Rosa for the first time. She was my supervisor, but we hit it off right away. It wasn't long before we decided to quit Sino Fresh, get married, and start our own business. We've been in love ever since. I'd say the majority of the guards are rotten, and the few who aren't simply take a paycheck and look the other way. They have Neon completely under their control. The Freestar Collective's own security doesn't even maintain a presence here. If it wasn't for the Freestar Rangers outpost, there wouldn't be a shred of justice in this entire city. Sure, have a look. Thanks for stopping by our shop. I've had enough, Rosa. Seagard's gone too far this time. I suppose that is ours now. Eh? Rosa. He's telling them it's okay to blackmail us. It's ridiculous. Why should I? Every time he pays me... Need something? Welcome to Ryujin Tower, the beating heart of Ryujin Industries. I'm Jupiter, the tower's secretary. Can I help you with something? The public can visit our Tayo, Tranquility, and drone sales offices upstairs. All are worth visiting. 
The tower also serves as Ryujin's corporate headquarters and is home to our research and development team. But unfortunately, those areas are restricted. We're the largest corporation in the Free Star Collective. We deal in everything from refreshments to starships. <laughs> oh, we're best known for our NeuroAmp technology. If you're curious about it, we have a selection on display at the Ryujin store near the back of the lobby. Is there anything else I can help you with? Wonderful! It's always nice to meet a potential co-worker. Uh, Ms. Salzo will be conducting your interview today. You'll find her office upstairs. You'll find Ms. Salzo's office on the operations floor. Just take the elevator at the back of the lobby. And don't forget to check out the Ryujin industry store in the back of the lobby before you leave. No visit to Ryujin Tower is complete without a look at our patented NeuroAmp technology after all. you in anything. Welcome to the Ryujin Industries product store. Looking for a NeuroAmp? NeuroAmps are Ryujin Industries signature product. They are small pieces of wearable tech that enhance some of the user's brain functions. Some of our best sellers can help with anything from focus and short-term memory to communication and confidence boosting. Sure have. My NeuroAmps the reason I got where I am. Six months ago, I was barely motivated enough to hold a job scrubbing floors as a janitor at Ryujin Tower. But thanks to this nifty little thing, I feel more motivated than ever. And my social skills have really improved. I can talk to customers no problem now. <laughs> Plus, I haven't lost my keys once since I started wearing it. That all depends on what you like to improve. If you're looking for a bit of a diplomatic edge, our Neurocom series is great. The Neuroboost can help you gain that confidence you need to really stand your ground. And our Neurotac series, Tac for Tactical, specializes in critical thinking. Of course, they're practically the foundation of what Ryujin was built on. <laughs> Some people seem to think so. I say you gotta see it to believe it. Why don't you check out the shop? It's worth browsing even if you aren't looking to buy. Newer amps mostly, same as always. Have a good one. mood today? Have a look. If something catches your... See you next time. resorted to theft now, I see.
jumping in from where? Paradiso. All this time we thought he was just being some miserable hermit. Ah, you? customer. You think he Feel free to spend your credits. Or now. get the hell out. No. I think he finally yeah. ran out of credits. You mean? If you're here for blend, no, I just had a new back. Then you gotta be new in neon. You should try one. I get. Browse all. Look, I don't have time for chit chat. I've got a lot of business to take care of. So if you don't mind her. As soon as word gets out, blend is back in stock. <laughs> it's going to be a stampede. Uh, eh, whatever, just hand it over. Uh, probably because you can't buy it anywhere else except at my shop. And I, it's got a special. What? No. Wait. Let's get one thing straight. If that's a letdown for... Probably because you can't... It's got a special... Hey, if you're going to throw money at me, who am I to keep secrets, right? The primary ingredient in blend is Aurora. The rest is uh, the same crap you'd find inside a few liquor bottles. And a touch of sugar to wash it all down. There. Now that you're savvy to the main ingredient, you don't need to be yapping about it in public. Understood? For your information, the distribution of Aurora anywhere except the Esro Lounge is illegal. Off the books, that shit flows like water around the city. Got plenty of ice-cold drinks in stock. All day, all night. Ah, here for some blend? Can't blame you. Best drink in the settled systems. No, not today. Just picking up some beers. Oh. Well, suit yourself. Your loss. If all he wants is credits, he's gonna be out of luck. You good? Welcome to Noodles. Let me know if you need help with anything. Oh my, do I? That's awful. I should be taking better care of my customers. You'll have to excuse me. With all the ruckus my husband's been making at the Merchant Alliance meetings, it's difficult to get any rest. Poor old man has himself mixed up in a foolish crusade against Dietrich Sieghart who he's angry at for paying off Neon security. It's a little group James formed, with some of the other vendors on Neon. I'd call it more of a support group, because all they do is sit around and complain about how hard it is to run a business here. For protection, I assume. They apparently target certain businesses with some type of safety assurance fee scheme. We've been spared that indignity so far. But it's absolutely disgraceful this kind of thing is happening. He runs Sieghart's Outfitters. It's right outside the spaceport terminal. I suppose you could say he's our only real competition. If you ask me, he isn't such a terrible person. Please don't tell James I said that. I don't believe he is, no. I think my husband has Dietrich all wrong. He's probably doing what he has to do, to survive. Just, um, please don't tell James I said that. 
I don't want him to think his own wife is doubting him. I have no idea. Anytime the subject comes up, it turns into an argument. Frankly, he's so obsessed with this Dietrich situation, I don't think he's listening to me at all. It's just a feeling that I have about Dietrich. I'm sure he's paying off Neon Security because he has no choice. I can't afford to fight back like my husband expects. Well, thank you. I can't remember the last time a total stranger walked into our store and offered to help. It would be so lovely to see my James happy again. He used to smile at me all the time, you know. Now all I see is worry on his face. I suppose you can speak with him about it if you like. But perhaps you'd like to browse our store a bit before you do? Oh, he'll be so upset for me telling you this. But it's such a funny story. I can't resist. James and I used to work on the Chasm Bass line at Xenofresh. We didn't do any of the Aurora extraction, just dealt with the leftovers. I was a supervisor on the line, and when the alarm went up that it had been stopped, I investigated. I find James inside a storage vat, up to his shoulders in stinky fish guts, and blind as a bat. The gut got in his eyes, you see. I had to walk him to the showers, strip his work clothes, and hose him down. When he saw me standing there, he turned bright red. <laughs> After the shift ended, we went out for a terror brew and talked. A year later, we were married. <laughs> Better times. Better times. Dietrich is actually quite a lovely man. Though late, when we first opened our business here in Akuchi Market, he was actually very helpful. Offered us advice. Didn't treat us like competition at all. I'm sorry, I just don't believe Dietrich is doing anything wrong, paying off Neon security. We all do what we have to do to survive in this wretched city. Unfortunately, my husband is convinced that fighting City Hall is the way to solve all of Neon's problems. I think he's wrong. Stop by again soon. Now, James, I don't want you to get upset. But Administrator Bay, you came out like one of your Oh, yeah? His magic. All your acting needs. Package food? Check. Neuroamps? Clover over at Kelp Corp. It's too good for Neon. Since we just trying to help someone or something. Honestly, I kind of turned around. Yeah? What? Nah, I don't think I want to get. Yes. Let All right, buzz off. I'm busy. Trouble. Why bother? They want to tear themselves to shit. Hello there! If you don't see what you need, business could always be better. I'll take that. Yes, I'm aware of James's objections. That's partly why I don't go to the meetings. But if I don't pay Dexler, I'll lose my business. And what good would joining the Alliance do then? So, really, I don't have a choice here. If they want to fight Neon Security, they can. But I need to protect my livelihood. Owen Dexler is head of Neon Security. 
but he is less concerned with crime than he is siphoning money from honest businesses. But it's not just him. All of Neon is corrupt. The only way to survive is to give in to their demands. You think I'm okay with it? I would like nothing more than to run my business free of Dexalus thieving. But what power do we really have? If I don't pay Dexler, he'll make sure every gang in the city takes a piece of my stock. And why is that? Rosa said that? I remember when her and James first started. They were very green. It was a different time. Okay, you've convinced me. I will stop paying Dexler his safety assurance fee. And tell the Newells I will come to the next meeting. Maybe I will even bring some beverages and snacks. You can't stand up to neon security on an empty stomach. to the Emporium. Yes. Can I help? Oh. Well, maybe I'll give it some thought. Maybe. Come back soon. You never know what we'll have for sale. Get out of my face. You want to gawk at something? Take it to the Astral Land. I've been applying to different methods from the Orient, but I haven't Stay out of trouble. I don't like this. Know if there's anything else I can do to enhance your day. It's a perfect day for a. Di You'll thank yourself after you.
If you're looking for a new you, I'm always ready to help. Hey there. I'd probably be in serious choice paralysis if I came in for a procedure too. I do not recall you asking if you could take that. accommodations oh thanks I'll definitely give this some thought it eh, couldn't hurt maybe after you've rented a room for a few nights I'm sorry I just I've got one with your name on it just one night or an extended stay Remember, we always have plenty of amazing things. Hey there, Brad. Need something? If you're looking for... Hey there. Welcome to New... Well, I'll be. And all you had to do was... Talk to him? I reckon I should have. This whole time I've been so angry at Seeger for making those payments, I never bothered to ask him why. Why did I tell you? You assume the worst in people and you'll make it so. <laughs> I knew when I told you so was coming, but I guess I deserve it. Thanks for your help on this. The Merchants' Alliance is finally united. I don't know if we'll ever get a fair shake in the city, but it's a start. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they have a planet they were on. They're just kids having everything fun. you could possibly want. Yeah. It's a wonderful day, my friend. Ah, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you for taking the time to do this for me. It was good of you to stop by, my friend. We'll be here when you're ready. This shift is Security assholes nabbed me. Please, have a heart. You need to help me. Am I guilty? No. I mean, yes, yeah, I'm hypothetically involved in Aurora smuggling. But who isn't, right? What's going on here is about more than some bullshit charges. Thank you. Oh, God. I gotta admit, I'm freaking out here. I've lost my job. I've lost my creds, and if I don't square things with Yannick Legrand, I'll lose everything else. Everything. Yannick is expecting a package. A really not so legal package. If you deliver it to him, he'll know I'm loyal. Don't worry, Yannick's loaded, he'll take care of you. I, uh, don't. But you are my last and really only chance. Security won't give you a second look. It'll be fine. So please, just 
Deliver the package? My crates on block O2 in Ebside. My authentication code is Alpha 3 Kilo 4. Just tell the manager and she'll key you in. The package is there, everything accounted for. Just take that to Yannick and hopefully this damn nightmare will be over. I'm not in the mood. Always raining in neon. Welcome to Tranquility, your new favorite spot to refresh and escape from the hustle and bustle of neon. I'm Delilah. Please let me know if you need any help or product recommendations. Is this your first time visiting Ryujin Tower? Oh yeah? I can't imagine what it would be like growing up here. I've only been in Neon a year and it's already wearing on me a bit. It's the kind of place that can get you down pretty easily. But that's just what Tranquility is here for. I'm sure we have a blend that'll put a smile on your face. Feel free to stop by for a chat anytime. You seem like an interesting person, and small talk goes nicely with a good cup of tea. Oh, Tranquility is the Settled System's number one tea brand. We have a tea for pretty much any occasion, in a variety of standard and unique blends. If you'd like more information, you should visit our sales office upstairs. Oh, we have a tea for... If you'd like more information... No, I'm not. I'm from a small farming settlement in a nearby system. Funnily enough, the farms my community maintains supply some of Tranquility's tea leaves. I grew up watching the ships and traders come in from Neon, and wishing I could get on one and see the city for myself. It seemed like such a fascinating place. Um, not exactly. Everyone here is busy and stressed, and there's a lot of crime. The stories I grew up with made Neon seem like paradise, but it really isn't. I'm just happy to work for a company that puts smiles on people's faces. It seems like most people here could use one. Sometimes, yeah. I didn't know anyone when I moved here, so I was really lonely. The town I'm from is tiny, so I knew almost everyone. It was a big change. I don't know, honestly. I never really wanted to be a farmer, so there's not much waiting for me back home. But I can't see myself living in Neon permanently. Maybe I'll get lucky and Tranquility will open a new office somewhere else. I'd be the first to sign up for a transfer. That's probably for the best. I don't think the galaxy could handle more than one city like this one. Feeling like a nice cup of tea today, hmm? Stop by anytime you want a cup of tea. 